The timeline of chemistry lists important works, discoveries, ideas, inventions, and experiments that significantly changed humanity's understanding of the modern science known as chemistry, defined as the scientific study of the composition of matter and of its interactions. The history of chemistry in its modern form arguably began with the Irish scientist Robert Boyle, though its roots can be traced back to the earliest recorded history. Early ideas that later became incorporated into the modern science of chemistry come from two main sources. Natural philosophers such as Aristotle and Democritus used deductive reasoning in an attempt to explain the behavior of the world around them. Alchemists such as Geber and Raises were people who used experimental techniques in an attempt to extend the life or perform material conversions, such as turning base metals into gold. In the 17th century, a synthesis of the ideas of these two disciplines, that is the deductive and the experimental, leads to the development of a process of thinking known as the scientific method. With the introduction of the scientific method, the modern science of chemistry was born. Known as the central science, the study of chemistry is strongly influenced by, and exerts a strong influence on, many other scientific and technological fields. Many events considered central to our modern understanding of chemistry are also considered key discoveries in such fields as physics, biology, astronomy, geology, and materials science to name a few. Pre-17th century Prior to the acceptance of the scientific method and its application to the field of chemistry, it is somewhat controversial to consider many of the people listed below as «chemists» in the modern sense of the word. However, the ideas of certain great thinkers, either for their prescience, or for their wide and long-term acceptance, bear listing here. c. 3000 BC Egyptians formulate the theory of the Ogdode, or the primordial forces, from which all was formed. These were the elements of chaos, numbered in eight, that existed before the creation of the Sun c. 1200 BC. Taputi Bellaticalum, a perfume maker and early chemist, was mentioned in a cuneiform tablet in Mesopotamia, c. 450 BC. Empedocles asserts that all things are composed of four primal elements, earth, air, fire, and water, whereby two active and opposing forces, love and hate, or affinity and antipathy, act upon these elements, combining and separating them into infinitely varied forms, c. 440 BC. Leucippus and Democritus propose the idea of the atom, an indivisible particle that all matter is made of. This idea is largely rejected by natural philosophers in favor of the Aristotelian view. See below, c. 360 BC. Plato coins term elements stoichia and in his dialogue Timaeus, which includes a discussion of the composition of inorganic and organic bodies and as a rudimentary treatise on chemistry, assumes that the minute particle of each element had a special geometric shape, tetrahedron fire, octahedron air, icosahedron water, and cube earth, c. 350 BC. Aristotle, expanding on Empedocles, proposes idea of a substance as a combination of matter and form. Describes theory of the five elements, fire, water, earth, air, and ether. This theory is largely accepted throughout the Western world for over 1,000 years, c. 50 BC. Lucretius publishes De Rerum Natura, a poetic description of the ideas of atomism, c. 300. Zosimos of Panopolis writes some of the oldest known books on alchemy, which he defines as the study of the composition of waters, movement, growth, embodying and disembodying, drawing the spirits from bodies and bonding the spirits within bodies, c. 770. Abu Musa Habir ibn Hayyan, aka Jebber, an Arab Persian alchemist who is 
considered by many to be the father of chemistry, develops an early experimental method for chemistry, and isolates numerous acids, including hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, citric acid, acetic acid, tartaric acid, and aqua regia, c. 1000. Abu al-Rayhan al-Biruni and Avicenna, both Persian chemists, refute the practice of alchemy and the theory of the transmutation of metals, c. 1167. Magister Salernus of the school of Salerno makes the first references to the distillation of wine, c. 1220. Robert Grossetesti publishes several Aristotelian commentaries where he lays out an early framework for the scientific method, c. 1250. Tadeo Alderotti develops fractional distillation, which is much more effective than its predecessors, c. 1260. Saint Albertus Magnus discovers arsenic and silver nitrate. He also made one of the first references to sulfuric acid, c. 1267. Roger Bacon publishes Opus Maius, which among other things, proposes an early form of the scientific method, and contains results of his experiments with gunpowder, c. 1310. Pseudo Geber, an anonymous Spanish alchemist who wrote under the name of Geber, publishes several books that establish the long held theory that all metals were composed of various proportions of sulfur and mercury. He is one of the first to describe nitric acid, aqua regia, and aqua fortis, c. 1530. Paracelsus develops the study of iatrochemistry, a subdiscipline of alchemy dedicated to extending life, thus being the roots of the modern pharmaceutical industry. It is also claimed that he is the first to use the word chemistry. Point one five nine seven. Andreas Libavius publishes Alchemia, a prototype chemistry textbook. Topic: 17th and 18th centuries. 1605. Sir Francis Bacon publishes *The Proficience and Advancement of Learning*, which contains a description of what would later be known as the scientific method. Point one six zero five. Michal Sedzawa publishes the alchemical treatise *A New Light of Alchemy*, which proposed the existence of the food of life within air much later recognized as oxygen 1615 Jean Bagan publishes the Tyrosinium Chymicum an early chemistry textbook and in it draws the first ever chemical equation 1637 René Descartes publishes Discours de la méthode which contains an outline of the scientific method 1648 Posthumous publication of the book Ortus Medicina by Jan Baptist van Helmont, which is cited by some as a major transitional work between alchemy and chemistry, and as an important influence on Robert Boyle. The book contains the results of numerous experiments and establishes an early version of the law of conservation of mass. 1661 Robert Boyle publishes The Skeptical Chemist, a treatise on the distinction between chemistry and alchemy. It contains some of the earliest modern ideas of atoms, molecules, and chemical reaction, and marks the beginning of the history of modern chemistry. 1662 Robert Boyle proposes Boyle's Law, an experimentally based description of the behavior of gases, specifically the relationship between pressure and volume. 1735. Swedish chemist Georg Brandt analyzes a dark blue pigment found in copper ore. Brandt demonstrated that the pigment contained a new element, later named cobalt. 1754. Joseph Black isolates carbon dioxide, which he called, "...fixed air". 1757 Louis Claude Cadet de Gassacourt, while investigating arsenic compounds, creates Cadet's fuming liquid, later discovered to be cacodyl oxide, considered to be the first synthetic organometallic compound. 1758 
Joseph Black formulates the concept of latent heat to explain the thermochemistry of phase changes. 1766. Henry Cavendish discovers hydrogen as a colorless, odorless gas that burns and can form an explosive mixture with air. 1773 1774 Carl Wilhelm Scheele and Joseph Priestley independently isolate oxygen, called by Priestley, "...deflogisticated air", and Scheele, "...fire air". 1778 Antoine Lavoisier, considered, "...the father of modern chemistry." Recognizes and names oxygen, and recognizes its importance and role in combustion. 1787. Antoine Lavoisier publishes Methode de nomenclature chimique, the first modern system of chemical nomenclature. 1787. Jacques Charles proposes Charles's law, a corollary of Boyle's law, describes relationship between temperature and volume of a gas. 1789. Antoine Lavoisier publishes Traité élémentaire de chimie, the first modern chemistry textbook. It is a complete survey of at that time modern chemistry, including the first concise definition of the law of conservation of mass, and thus also represents the founding of the discipline of stoichiometry or quantitative chemical analysis. 1797. Joseph Proust proposes the law of definite proportions, which states that elements always combine in small, whole number ratios to form compounds. 1800. Alessandro Volta devises the first chemical battery, thereby founding the discipline of electrochemistry. Topic: 19th century. 1803 John Dalton proposes Dalton's law, which describes relationship between the components in a mixture of gases and the relative pressure each contributes to that of the overall mixture. 1805 Joseph Louis Gay Lussac discovers that water is composed of two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen by volume. 1808 Joseph Louis Gay Lussac collects and discovers several chemical and physical properties of air and of other gases, including experimental proofs of Boyle's and Charles's laws, and of relationships between density and composition of gases. 1808. John Dalton publishes New System of Chemical Philosophy, which contains first modern scientific description of the atomic theory, and clear description of the law of multiple proportions. 1808. John's Jakob Berzelius publishes Larbuk i Chemin, in which he proposes modern chemical symbols and notation, and of the concept of relative atomic weight. 1811. Amadeo Avogadro proposes Avogadro's law, that equal volumes of gases under constant temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. 1825 Friedrich Wohler and Justus von Liebig perform the first confirmed discovery and explanation of isomers, earlier named by Berzelius. Working with cyanic acid and fulminic acid, they correctly deduce that isomerism was caused by differing arrangements of atoms within a molecular structure. 1827. William Prout classifies biomolecules into their modern groupings: carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. 1828. Friedrich Wohler synthesizes urea, thereby establishing that organic compounds could be produced from inorganic starting materials, disproving the theory of vitalism. 1832. Friedrich Wohler and Justus von Liebig discover and explain functional groups and radicals in relation to organic chemistry. 1840. 
Germain Hesse proposes Hesse's law, an early statement of the law of conservation of energy, which establishes that energy changes in a chemical process depend only on the states of the starting and product materials and not on the specific pathway taken between the two states. 1847. Hermann Kolbe obtains acetic acid from completely inorganic sources, further disproving vitalism. 1848. Lord Kelvin establishes concept of absolute zero, the temperature at which all molecular motion ceases. 1849. Louis Pasteur discovers that the racemic form of tartaric acid is a mixture of the levorotatory and dextrotatory forms, thus clarifying the nature of optical rotation and advancing the field of stereochemistry. 1852. August Beer proposes Beer's law, which explains the relationship between the composition of a mixture and the amount of light it will absorb. Based partly on earlier work by Pierre Bouguer and Johann Heinrich Lambert, it establishes the analytical technique known as spectrophotometry. 1855. Benjamin Silliman Jr. pioneers methods of petroleum cracking, which makes the entire modern petrochemical industry possible. 1856. William Henry Perkin synthesizes Perkin's mauve, the first synthetic dye. Created as an accidental byproduct of an attempt to create quinine from coal tar. This discovery is the foundation of the dye synthesis industry, one of the earliest successful chemical industries. 1857. Friedrich August Kekulé von Stratonitz proposes that carbon is tetravalent, or forms exactly four chemical bonds. 1860. Gustav Kirchhoff and Robert Bunsen lay the foundations of spectroscopy as a means of chemical analysis, which led them to the discovery of cesium and rubidium. Other workers soon used the same technique to discover indium, thallium, and helium. 1860 Stanislaw Cannizzaro, resurrecting Avogadro's ideas regarding diatomic molecules, compiles a table of atomic weights and presents it at the 1860 Karlsruhe Congress, ending decades of conflicting atomic weights and molecular formulas, and leading to Mendeleev's discovery of the periodic law. 1862. Alexander Parks exhibits parkesine, one of the earliest synthetic polymers, at the International Exhibition in London. This discovery formed the foundation of the modern plastics industry. 1862. Alexander Emile Begayer de Chancourtois publishes The Telluric Helix, an early, three dimensional version of the periodic table of the elements. 1864. John Newlands proposes the law of octaves, a precursor to the periodic law. 1864. Lothar Meyer develops an early version of the periodic table, with 28 elements organized by valence. 1864. Cato Maximilian Goldberg and Peter Weige, building on Claude Louis Berthollet's ideas, proposed the law of mass action. 1865. Johann Joseph Loschmidt determines exact number of molecules in a mole, later named Avogadro's number. 1865. Friedrich August Kekulé von Stratonitz, based partially on the work of Loschmidt and others, establishes structure of benzene as a six carbon ring with alternating single and double bonds. 1865. Adolf von Bayer begins work on indigo dye, a milestone in modern industrial organic chemistry which revolutionizes the dye industry. 1869 Dmitry Mendeleev publishes the first modern periodic table, with the 66 known elements organized by atomic weights. The strength of his table was its ability to accurately predict the properties of as yet unknown elements. 1873 
Jacobus Henricus van T. Hoff and Joseph Achille Labelle, working independently, develop a model of chemical bonding that explains the chirality experiments of Pasteur and provides a physical cause for optical activity in chiral compounds. 1876. Josiah Willard Gibbs publishes On the Equilibrium of Heterogeneous Substances, a compilation of his work on thermodynamics and physical chemistry which lays out the concept of free energy to explain the physical basis of chemical equilibria. 1877. Ludwig Boltzmann establishes statistical derivations of many important physical and chemical concepts, including entropy, and distributions of molecular velocities in the gas phase. 1883. Svante Arrhenius develops ion theory to explain conductivity in electrolytes. 1884. Jacobus Henricus van T. Hoff publishes Etudes de dynamique chimique, a seminal study on chemical kinetics. 1884. Hermann Emil Fischer proposes structure of purine, a key structure in many biomolecules, which he later synthesized in 1898. Also begins work on the chemistry of glucose and related sugars. 1884. Henry Louis Le Chatelier develops Le Chatelier principle, which explains the response of dynamic chemical equilibria to external stresses. 1885. Eugene Goldstein names the cathode ray, later discovered to be composed of electrons, and the canal ray, later discovered to be positive hydrogen ions that had been stripped of their electrons in a cathode ray tube. These would later be named protons. 1893. Alfred Werner discovers the octahedral structure of cobalt complexes, thus establishing the field of coordination chemistry. 1894 1898. William Ramsey discovers the noble gases, which fill a large and unexpected gap in the periodic table and led to models of chemical bonding. 1897 J. J. Thomson discovers the electron using the cathode ray tube. 1898 Wilhelm Wien demonstrates that canal rays streams of positive ions can be deflected by magnetic fields, and that the amount of deflection is proportional to the mass-to-charge ratio. This discovery would lead to the analytical technique known as mass spectrometry. 1898 Maria Sklodowska Curie and Pierre Curie isolate radium and polonium from pitchblende, c. 1900. Ernest Rutherford discovers the source of radioactivity as decaying atoms, coins terms for various types of radiation. Topic: 20th century. 1903. Mikhail Semyonovich Svet invents chromatography, an important analytic technique. 1904. Hantaro Nagaoka proposes an early nuclear model of the atom, where electrons orbit a dense massive nucleus. 1905. Fritz Haber and Karl Bosch develop the Haber process for making ammonia from its elements, a milestone in industrial chemistry with deep consequences in agriculture. 1905. Albert Einstein explains Brownian motion in a way that definitively proves atomic theory. 1907. Leo Hendrik Bakeland invents Bakelite, one of the first commercially successful plastics. 1909. Robert Millikan measures the charge of individual electrons with unprecedented accuracy through the oil drop experiment, confirming that all electrons have the same charge and mass. 1909. S. P. L. Sorensen invents the pH concept and develops methods for measuring acidity. 1911. Antonius van den Broek proposes the idea that the elements on the periodic table are more properly organized by positive nuclear charge rather than atomic weight. 1911 
The first Solvay conference is held in Brussels, bringing together most of the most prominent scientists of the day. Conferences in physics and chemistry continue to be held periodically to this day. 1911 Ernest Rutherford, Hans Geiger, and Ernest Marsden perform the gold foil experiment, which proves the nuclear model of the atom, with a small, dense, positive nucleus surrounded by a diffuse electron cloud. 1912 William Henry Bragg and William Lawrence Bragg propose Bragg's law and establish the field of X-ray crystallography, an important tool for elucidating the crystal structure of substances. 1912. Peter Debye develops the concept of molecular dipole to describe asymmetric charge distribution in some molecules. 1913. Niels Bohr introduces concepts of quantum mechanics to atomic structure by proposing what is now known as the Bohr model of the atom, where electrons exist only in strictly defined orbitals. 1913. Henry Moseley, working from van den Broek's earlier idea, introduces concept of atomic number to fix inadequacies of Mendeleev's periodic table, which had been based on atomic weight. 1913. Frederick Soddy proposes the concept of isotopes, that elements with the same chemical properties may have differing atomic weights. 1913. J. J. Thomson expanding on the work of Wien, shows that charged subatomic particles can be separated by their mass to charge ratio, a technique known as mass spectrometry. 1916. Gilbert N. Lewis publishes, "...the atom and the molecule", the foundation of valence bond theory. 1921. Otto Stern and Walther Gerlach establish concept of quantum mechanical spin in subatomic particles. 1923. Gilbert N. Lewis and Merle Randall publish Thermodynamics and the Free Energy of Chemical Substances, first modern treatise on chemical thermodynamics. 1923. Gilbert N. Lewis develops the electron pair theory of acid base reactions. 1924. Louis de Broglie introduces the wave model of atomic structure, based on the ideas of wave particle duality. 1925. Wolfgang Pauli develops the exclusion principle, which states that no two electrons around a single nucleus may have the same quantum state, as described by four quantum numbers. 1926. Erwin Schrödinger proposes the Schrödinger equation, which provides a mathematical basis for the wave model of atomic structure. 1927. Werner Heisenberg develops the uncertainty principle, which, among other things, explains the mechanics of electron motion around the nucleus. 1927. Fritz London and Walter Heitler apply quantum mechanics to explain covalent bonding in the hydrogen molecule, which marked the birth of quantum chemistry. 1929 Linus Pauling publishes Pauling's Rules, which are key principles for the use of X-ray crystallography to deduce molecular structure. 1931 Eric Huckel proposes Huckel's rule, which explains when a planar ring molecule will have aromatic properties. 1931. Harold Urey discovers deuterium by fractionally distilling liquid hydrogen. 1932. James Chadwick discovers the neutron. 1932 1934. Linus Pauling and Robert Mulliken quantify electronegativity, devising the scales that now bear their names. 1935. Wallace Carruthers leads a team of chemists at DuPont who invent nylon, one of the most commercially successful synthetic polymers in history. 1937. Carlo Perrier and Emilio Segre perform the first confirmed synthesis of technetium-97, the first artificially produced element, filling a gap in the periodic table. 
Though disputed, the element may have been synthesized as early as 1925 by Walter Nodick and others. 1937. Eugene Howdry develops a method of industrial scale catalytic cracking of petroleum, leading to the development of the first modern oil refinery. 1937. Pyotr Kapitsa, John Allen and Don Missiner produce supercooled helium-4, the first zero-viscosity superfluid, a substance that displays quantum mechanical properties on a macroscopic scale. 1938. Otto Hahn discovers the process of nuclear fission in uranium and thorium. 1939. Linus Pauling publishes The Nature of the Chemical Bond, a compilation of a decade's worth of work on chemical bonding. It is one of the most important modern chemical texts. It explains hybridization theory, covalent bonding and ionic bonding as explained through electronegativity, and resonance as a means to explain, among other things, the structure of benzene. 1940. Edwin Macmillan and Philip H. Abelson identify neptunium, the lightest and first synthesized transuranium element, found in the products of uranium fission. Macmillan would found a lab at Berkeley that would be involved in the discovery of many new elements and isotopes. 1941. Glenn T. Seaborg takes over Macmillan's work creating new atomic nuclei. Pioneer's method of neutron capture and later through other nuclear reactions. Would become the principal or co-discoverer of nine new chemical elements, and dozens of new isotopes of existing elements. 1945. Jacob A. Marinsky, Lawrence E. Glendinen, and Charles D. Coriel perform the first confirmed synthesis of promethium, filling in the last gap. In the periodic table, 1945 1946. Felix Bloch and Edward Mills Purcell develop the process of nuclear magnetic resonance, an analytical technique important in elucidating structures of molecules, especially in organic chemistry. 1951. Linus Pauling uses X-ray crystallography to deduce the secondary structure of proteins. 1952. Alan Walsh pioneers the field of atomic absorption spectroscopy, an important quantitative spectroscopy method that allows one to measure specific concentrations of a material in a mixture. 1952. Robert Burns Woodward, Jeffrey Wilkinson, and Ernst Otto Fischer discover the structure of ferrocene, one of the founding discoveries of the field of organometallic chemistry. 1953. James D. Watson and Francis Crick propose the structure of DNA, opening the door to the field of molecular biology. 1957. Yen Sku discovers Na K atpace, the first ion transporting enzyme. 1958. Max Perutz and John Kendrew use X ray crystallography to elucidate a protein structure, specifically sperm whale myoglobin. 1962. Neil Bartlett synthesizes xenon hexafluoroplatinate, showing for the first time that the noble gases can form chemical compounds. 1962. George Law observes carbocations via superacid reactions. 1964. Richard R. Ernst performs experiments that will lead to the development of the technique of Fourier transform NMR. This would greatly increase the sensitivity of the technique, and open the door for magnetic resonance imaging or MRI. 1965. Robert Burns Woodward and Roald Hoffman propose the Woodward Hoffman rules, which use the symmetry of molecular orbitals to explain the stereochemistry of chemical reactions. 1966. Hitoshi Nozaki and Ryoji Noyori discovered the first example of asymmetric catalysis hydrogenation using a structurally well-defined chiral transition metal complex. 1970. 
John Popel develops the Gaussian program greatly easing computational chemistry calculations. 1971. Yves Chauvin offered an explanation of the reaction mechanism of olefin metathesis reactions. 1975. Carl Barry Sharpless and group discover a stereoselective oxidation reactions including Sharpless epoxidation, Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation, and Sharpless oxyamination. 1985 Harold Croteau, Robert Curl and Richard Smalley discover fullerenes, a class of large carbon molecules superficially resembling the geodesic dome designed by architect R. Buckminster Fuller. 1991. Sumio Ijima uses electron microscopy to discover a type of cylindrical fullerene known as a carbon nanotube, though earlier work had been done in the field as early as 1951. This material is an important component in the field of nanotechnology. 1994. First total synthesis of taxol by Robert A. Holton and his group. 1995. Eric Cornell and Carl Wieman produce the first Bose Einstein condensate, a substance that displays quantum mechanical properties on the macroscopic scale. Topic. See also History of Chemistry Nobel Prize in Chemistry List of Nobel laureates in Chemistry Timeline of Chemical Elements Discoveries <laughs>